Hello friends, this video on Asset and Base Part 9 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 8. Now, the question is, how do both Asset and Base react with each other? So, if you have Asset and Base, it gives salt and water. This reaction is called neutralization reaction, which you have learned in the past chapter. You have a acid, you have a base, you add these, you get salt and water. We can do this thing in the lab, we will take some NOH and we put some phenolphthalein solution on this. This guy is what? This guy is an indicator actually, this guy is a indicator. Now what is the color of the solution? It's a pink. The, we have told that in the basic solution, this guy is pink, phenolphthalein solution is pink, correct? So we have this uh, test tube, in this test tube we have NOH, right? So since it is NOH, it's a base and the moment you add this indicator, that becomes pink because it comes pink on base. Now the, the fact we know is the fact we know that phenolphthalein remains colorless in acid but turns pink in base. This is the characteristic of the phenolphthalein thing which we know. Just to remind you, I wrote this once again, phenolphthalein is something is a natural indicator which turns colorless in acid and but turns pink in beer. Now what we'll do, we'll add a dilute SCL drop by drop. Drop by drop will add, right? And what we'll see, we'll see that the reaction is happening and it is becoming colorless. Now the question is why it became colorless? I told it will become colorless only in acid. The reason why it became colorless is it had some NOH, some NOH, it's supposed to ml, right? Now NOH, you add some HCl, it gives NaCl plus H2, right? The salt is formed. But after some times, after some times, this NOH is exhausted, right? Because all the NOH is used by HCl to create salt, correct? And but we are still pouring SCL. If you see, we are doing it drop by drop. We are not stopping. We are doing it drop by drop. So this all this NOH is gone. But we are still adding SCL. That means the solution will have now SCL plus NaCl. You understand? It will not have NOH. Why? See, it had NOH. It had base. It was pink in color. Now you are putting SCL. You are again putting SCL, you are again putting SCL, you are doing it continuously, right? So after some time, see NH and SCL reacts to give NaCl plus water. All the NH it had in the solution is exhausted to make NaCl. The extra SCL which you add will make the solution acidic in nature. Since the solution is acidic in nature, this will become colorless. Now what happens is, if you see, that's why the color change on adding acid. Now what you do is, you again add base in this, you again add base to this, drop by drop. So if you add base to it, now the solution is something like this, it has some SCL, that's suppose, plus some salt plus water which you can ignore now. Now you add base to it, right, you add base to it, it will again create NaCl plus water, the salt will precipitate down, the water will increase the volume of the, the, the test tube, but if you see, after some time, since you are now adding NOH, NOH, you continuously adding it, all the HCl which is there, extra HCl is there, is exhausted. Since it is exhausted, the solution will have NOH, NACL and water. Since it will have NOH, NOH is base, the pink color will reappear. Hope you understand this, why it happened. So in first case, it was all base, you are adding acid. For some time, there was no change because the acid and base reaction happened, the extra acid which you added, reacted with base to make salt. But after some time, all the base is over, then the extra acid which you added made the solution acidic and thus it became colorless. Now it is colorless, it has extra acid plus salt. Now you start adding the base again. For some time, there will not be any change in, in the color because the reaction will happen and it will still have some acid. After some time, all this acid is, is exhausted and this extra base which you have, you have which you are keep pouring in will make the solution basic and the pink color will create. So this is an example of a neutralization reaction where we can see that 
the acid, the acid and the base react to form salt and water. This is the reaction we have. We have sodium hydroxide in the aqueous form. We have hydrochloric acid in the aqueous form. Both react to form NaCl in the aqueous and water. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.